Hi, so let's begin with the uh, digital camera review for the Fuji Finepix XP30. This underwater photography video tutorial reveals an excellent unique evaluation of the Fuji Finepix XP30 waterproof digital camera by Alexa Simofic and well worth watching if you're considering buying a Fuji Finepix XP30. So I recently bought a Fuji XP30 camera as a small scale and compact camera for everyday use. I do possess a couple of semi-professional digital cameras but this specific one looks small enough to carry around with me all the time. And because I do travel a great deal I imagine that the Fuji XP30 digital camera's GPS geotagging capability would help me make my picture tagging quicker and a whole lot easier. Which brings us to my first frustration using the Fuji XP30. I still haven't figured out the best way yet to tag the images with authentic place names and I'm certainly not a novice in terms of waterproof digital cameras. All I got was a list of all the regional locations, latitudes and longitudes. On the constructive side, the standard of the photographs captured with the Fuji XP30 camera really is excellent, even if used like an idiot camera by just using automatic settings. If the GPS location problem was the only one I'd say that this Fuji G digital camera is really well worth the money I got for it, around 150 bucks. But there is an even greater dilemma, as the XP30 camera battery runs out extremely fast in a matter of just hours. You can make the battery last a little longer if you shut off the GPS location browsing, so you need an extra battery for more than four to five hours use. To make the problem even worse, the Fuji XP30 camera switched on accidentally in my pocket a couple of times and the battery was already drained before I got down to taking my first photo. Anyway, the advantage of Fuji XP30 while used for outdoor activities is that this camera is very solid and in all probability it won't break the first time it unintentionally slips from your hand and strikes the ground. Actually, I had several incidents and I can't find a single scratch on it. Regarding the waterproof aspect, I only evaluated the Fuji XP30 camera in the sea up to 2 meters, and also under the shower to clean off the sea salt. And it was perfect. The size of the liquid crystal display is 2.7 inches, which is adequate. However, the guarantee of an anti-reflective display, which can be used even in bright sunlight, proved not to be correct. The autofocus function and image st st stabilization of the Fuji XP30 for taking pictures of moving things did the trick very well. I tested it taking photos of my children riding on their bicycles and every time the image was properly focused and sharp. Taking videos with the Fuji XP30 camera is straightforward and the standard of the video is actually good, but I had significant problems with the actual audio when taking the video clips. To begin with, I wasn't able to transfer the audio. Next, after wasting a lot of time playing with the different functions on the Fuji XP30 and on the provided software, the audio did show up but was completely out of synchronization. To make it even more frustrating while zooming in or out whilst recording a video clip, you can later hear the zoom actions in the video clip. In short, if you want to use the Fuji XP30 camera for daily use or you're having the problem of accidentally damaging cameras, then it really is well worth the money you'll pay for it. However, if you don't have the opportunity to continually charge your batteries, you'd better look for something different. So anyway, to grab your free digital photography report on how to take awesome digital photos with the camera every time, even if you're a complete newbie to photography, just click on the link below the arrow, or you can visit www.learndigitalphotographynow.com forward slash free dash digital dash photography dash report. Thanks very much.